Today, we're down at the ranch again. We are cooking up some chicken for y'all. I got some chicken drumsticks. We're putting them on the barrel smoker. I'm gonna show you how to get that barrel smoker set up and going, how to season these chickens, how to truly have a tailgating day. We're cooking off the tailgate, so stick around and let me show you how I'm cooking up these chicken legs today. Hey folks, this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. I am Chef Johnny. Thanks for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Hey, we are down here in South Texas where I live. We're amongst the cactus and the mesquite trees without a doubt. And we're cooking up chicken today. So I want you to stick around, see how I start the fire in this barrel smoker and how we season up the chickens. I'll show you the rubs I use. I'll show you all the procedures I do. It's all pretty easy. And guys, we are tailgating. We're cooking off the tailgate once again. So. Come in here, let's look at this barrel smoker and how I get the fire going. Then we'll move on to that chicken. Now, got our charcoal charger going pretty good. It's starting to burn, so I'm just gonna cover it up with some briquettes here. Add some chunks of mesquite. Put them on this front end. This is only gonna be about a 45 minute cook, so I don't need that a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and sit the barrel on it. Uh, that way it'll protect it from the wind and we can get this going. Get these chickens out. Guys, I went down to the local store here, close to the ranch, drove into town to get a chicken, and that little grocery store had no whole chickens at all. They had leg quarters, legs, and wings. I opted on the legs today. We're gonna get these and season them up. Hey, we're not doing rocket science here, right? Pretty easy, but if we wanted to inject these with a little more moisture, we could. A lot of things you can do with chicken legs, and I tell you what, if you're not good at ch cooking chicken, cook dark meat, it's much more moist, and it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you near as much as, as a breast is. You're not gonna dry it out. Today, I'm just using some uh, ham grenade from War Pig Barbecue. Use the one you like, uh, whatever your favorite barbecue rub is, or try to find these guys. They're, they're a good company, good people. And uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna kinda season these up with a liberal amount of my uh, War Pig ham grenade seasoning. Like I said, guys, you can inject these you can brine, there's a lot we can do with these legs, but for down here at the ranch, on a little short cook, this is what we're doing. We're down here this weekend trying to, trying to get us a pig, and I tell you what, guys, it's, so far they're not cooperating a lot, but I do like the way it's my first time to try, really try out this uh, uh, scree. Uh, Summit is the uh, camo pattern, and we're seeing how it blends in down here, and, how good we can hide in this South Texas brush country uh, brush down here. And so far, I am liking the way I blend in. But guys, that's it. I'm gonna sit these back in the cooler and we're gonna let them stay nice and cold. This is chicken, we don't want it to get too hot. But uh, we're going to uh, just let that until our pit gets up to about 300 degrees. There we go. They're seasoned up. Going to sit them back in the ice chest. We'll get back with y'all when it's time to go on that uh, barrel house cooker. All right, folks, don't want to run in the house. Wash my hands. I'm going to do it out here. Look at this. You got an ice chest. Let's run some of that cold water out on your hands. That way you can touch something. Get them clean. A lot of ways to get water around here, but that's one way we do it down here. Here we go, guys. You see these chickens have sweated out nicely. Our pit's at 300 degrees, so I'm gonna get on our legs. Nothing wrong with a good chicken leg, guys. Drop these on, and like I said, maybe 45 minutes. Some nice mesquite wood, gonna put the smoke on here for me. You have a use, you're not used to using mesquite. Well, it can get a little strong on you. You gotta be careful. That's why I never use too much. Get the lid back on. See y'all in just a little while. This chicken is looking good. We're gonna get it turned over. It's been on about 30 minutes. We're gonna go another 15 or 20 minutes, but oh yeah, as I'm flipping these, you can see that they're really just looking real good. A lot of nice color. A Little bit of char on that bottom side, but 
It's looking good. I'm thinking still in that 45 minute mark. So another 15, oh, maybe 20 minutes. We're gonna be eating chicken. This bit, if you look at it, it's right around 300. We're gonna get this off. We're right at 45 minutes. I tempt these a second ago and they're anywhere from about 167 to, oh, 172 degrees. So look at that. Man, pretty, pretty chickens. Let's get these off, let them cool down a little. And we're gonna make us some chicken plates. My lunch for today. Uh, my wife brought in some baked beans, coleslaw, jalapeno cornbread, a brownie for dessert, and of course, a couple of these beautiful drumsticks we cooked up on that barrel cooker. Uh, we're fixing to give this a try. Well, there you have it, folks. Pretty good meal today. Uh, we're gonna do this before we head back out in that brush. Uh, gonna see how this camo once again blends in. We're trying to run this through the paces down here in South Texas, and I'm really liking how this camo blends in that we got from uh, Scree. It's going real good. Chicken looks great. The wife's side dishes are good. I'm gonna try these baked beans first. Mm. Those are great. Wife made this with honey today. I'm, I'm liking that really good. That's a good baked bean, nice and sweet. But homemade coleslaw, jalapeno cornbread, and here's those chicken legs. We always wanna get a taste test, right? See how this cook turned out on our on our chicken legs. Give it a bite. I tell you what, great chicken. It's moist. It's got some beautiful color inside and out on it. Cooked to perfection. Uh, the the ham grenade we used was a good choice. Just pick out your favorite seasoning that you like. Or hey, salt, pepper, garlic's never a bad thing uh, on anything you season up. But. I'm liking this chicken. Hope you like it too. Hope you tell your friends and family about us. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas style barbecue and cuisine. So long, everybody. Have a great day. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.